Hello everybody, Jim Foster again for the J Racing Scene Company. I'm going to talk to you this morning a little bit about cobwebs and how we remove cobwebs. I know in the past it's been, uh, people have used different methods. Uh, a lot of you have used double-sided tape. Uh, you put it on a strip washer in order to go up and, uh, and get the cobwebs off of around lights and off of uh, mullions and things of that nature. Uh, a lot of you probably have tried to use pressure washers. And the problem with that, and the problem with most things concerning cobwebs, is that if you're on a porous surface and you try to rub the cobwebs off, they're gonna go right into the surface of the substrate, they're not gonna come off. It's gonna be a mess. You kind, of, you kind of run into that same problem with pressure washing. Although pressure washing will knock them down, you still gotta chase them down off the stone. They kind of get stuck. Well, this is a cobweb brush. And you can see we've got an extension pole which makes it real easy to use. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our cobweb brush, we're gonna kinda of like spin it, roll it, and catch the cobwebs, pull the cobwebs off, pull them down like so, cross this way, pull it like so. Now that wood up there is gonna catch some of this, these cobwebs. So we just kinda of wanna dab it to where the cobwebs stick to the brush and come down. You see what I'm doing there? That's exactly what it does. You can bring it this way, bring this down, any clips that are here, if we dab it, dab it, got them off, okay? Here we're going to do the same thing, just going to dab it, okay? Cobweb's gone, now I can go turn around, get my water fed pole, come up here, wash these ground floor windows, okay? Hey, it's nice talking to you, and we'll see you another time.